the issue of extremism, we have to define what are we talking about when you're talking about extremism. Is it Muslims are extremists? Who is an extremist? The youth in, in, in Kenya that are considered radical, what is it that they're they are telling us? Those who have never seen a jihadist, here is one, but I'm not violent. Islam has been in Cameroon also a mechanism to access to power. Official security agencies sometimes are accused of aiding radical groups like Boko Haram. How do we tell the difference between the terrorists and the police if the police themselves are terrorists or they are using terror and they are not guided by the rule of law? The violence of Boko Haram increased proportionate to the brutality of the security agencies. We have more loyalty to our identity than to the nation. Because another interfaith focus on Pasa and Sheikh. What about women and the youth? And it's very important to understand how the border is a key element to, to, to see how radicalism will shift from a, a space to the other. We have to stop using religion uh, to push our political interests uh, towards dividing, dividing our societies. What are the qualitative differences that make us label one group uh, as a terrorist group and the other one as a criminal gang or whatever? It's very important that um, we recognize the diversities of religion and accord each one of these religions its own, uh, its own space. If you're serious about counter-violence extremism, we must understand the narrative that is being used by these radicals. Violence is only legitimized from a religious standpoint. And violence is also um, justified by political arguments. What is the place of positive radicalization in countering the negative radicalization? How can we talk the language of peaceful coexistence? How can we talk the language of celebrating diversities? How can we talk the language of empowering the, the minorities and the less fortunate? When we are talking about religion, we need to talk about it from the point of view that we are ready to critique our own society, our own faith, and our own social structures. But just because we condemn does not mean we should not strive to comprehend. We need to keep on asking why.